This is Beeman G career mode. Perfect. A work in progress portion of Beam, as well as a new series I'll be making along with the other content of this channel. Our main goal, see how fast we can get to the top. It is time for us to get our first car of the series. I'm going to go with the I-Series. Now you may be wondering why the I-Series. Well, uh, it's all wheel drive first off and secondly, it looks cool. It might be the most stable and because everything costs a price instead of this, that being repairs, parts, cars, gas, licenses, even insurance and sales tax, which this game has, as you may have seen while I was buying the car, it had sales tax on it. I just stalled. <laughs> Whoops. But this car has a good amount of storage available. By the way, this is our starting garage for anyone who has not played career mode yet. It's like the first place that you're able to go to to upgrade your car. So we're gonna make some modifications to it real quick. As you may notice, my hair's a little bit wet and that's cause I just had to get out of the shower. Cause I was just at the school filming all day. Uh, but you would know that if you were in my discord. So you heard I made a brand new discord, huh? Well, you can be one of the first people to join the community. It has toggleable notifications, so if you don't want to hear whenever I upload, that's okay. I don't know why you would do that, though. It has an old channel where I update you guys on the progress of videos and also different achievements of the channel. And finally, it features events where you yourself could possibly end up in a video. If you're interested in any of that, be sure to join the community. You may or may not be able to tell, but the changes have been made. Even looking in the front seat, we have added a few different boxes, which these do all have actual weight. So our car is probably significantly more top heavy now. and will not have as good of a top speed, but that's okay if we're making perfect deliveries every single time. Brother. Brother. We're gonna purchase these parts for $706, bringing our account down to, what is it gonna be? $2,969.98. All right. I don't think I'm gonna do any extra modifications. Actually, no, I'm gonna do brakes. That's what I'm gonna do. So that's $342, in my opinion, well spent because I don't wanna crash into anything in the first two milliseconds of driving this thing. Let's see. There you go. Did I already hit something? First place we can deliver for. Oh my goodness, 378 monies. I am taking it immediately. 66 as well, I'm gonna take that as well. And this is the place that we're delivering to. All right. Well, you know, since they're paying such a high service fee, this is a premium order, people. Get out of the way. So I know what the first thing we need to do is upgrade the amount of power we're producing here because this is not not good. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we have a giant crate on our roof. Brother, brother, brother. What are we doing there? Are you even getting off on the exit? Okay, you are, good. People these days, they can't drive. This is gonna go through the stop sign. I already knew there wasn't people there. Premium customer, get out of the way. Perfect, all right. That is a whole $378 to this place. From this place, sorry. Uh, can we get any other high dollar items? We got $78 right there. 232 pounds. I should have looked at that first. Oh boy. But we have our next destination to go to. This was the smaller one, so you know, we don't have to go as fast. We could we can kind of spare ourselves a little bit of damage. Speaking of damage. We're fine, it's only the front bumper. Just saying, this entire career mode with all major updates, I believe all the files become obsolete, so nothing really saves. Meaning I want to do a speed run of sorts on how fast I can get to an actual good car. That's not to say that this car isn't good in a sense, more so it's just not up to par to what we need. For licenses on the topic of paying for things, you do have to pay for different licenses to get those better cars. So if you wanted a scintilla, you're gonna have to work for the license itself before you can actually get the car. And then if you want a T-Series to deliver larger cargo than just this, then you're gonna have to work for the commercial license to be able to even drive those cars. 
and get the trailers for them. So it kind of makes it its own whole system that I think is actually pretty cool. But that's enough of my rambling, really, of what career mode is, what it provides, what I think the objective is for this little series that I'm going to be having going in the background along with the other content that I'm going to try and push out. It is going to be how fast I can get to those larger scale vehicles such as full race cars such as the Scintilla or full delivering machines such as the T-Series with its massive trailers. This car is so underpowered and also slightly damaged, So, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> now I do want to try a couple various ways of making money so I can see what does make the most money, which I think might be racing. I think delivering might be a later game type thing to do. The reason I say that it might be a later game thing though is because you kind of need the money to start making the large amounts of money, like the money for the T-Series and the commercial license and such. Does that not say stop right there? Okay. I say that as if I didn't run like 72 stop signs on the way over here. Alright, and let's see if this place has anything good for us again. Now I will mention with it being career mode, sometimes there are some little bugs and things, such as whenever you're leaving a race, I have experienced, like it, it takes me to just a black screen. But all you have to do really, if you didn't know, if F5 will reload your UI, and then if you just do that, it fixes it. it are we are we racing? I can race if you need me to. I can race ya! At a cool 61 miles an hour flat. Oh, yes, and I forgot to mention, as you deliver things to people, you open up their delivering services. So, I think it might just give you better items. I'm not entirely sure, because I haven't delivered to the other side of the map before, but it's still showing that I can. Oh, no, it's not, actually. Huh. Oh, it might be that there's a delivery to there. Which, actually, that might be really good right now. It's locked. Dang it. It expired. That's kind of annoying. Alright, but let's get to the racetrack, because that's also, I believe, a good place to get money from, delivery-wise. Ooh, that's a metal bar! Let's back it up real quick. And let's go. Thanks for that. We are stuck in second gear. Second gear warrior. Wait, what happens if I go fifth? Zero power. Oh my goodness! Brother. Is he drunk? He is definitely drunk. He, he is not in the right state of mind to be driving right now. Do not drink and drive, or else you're gonna get like that guy. Please, 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 please! Let me pass. Overtake. Overtake. Okay. So we're just pro racers now. I keep forgetting I have this massive box on my roof. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this looks so stupid. But you can't even see past the hood of the car with this thing on. All right, slam on the brakes. Okay. Relatively good stopping speed for having like seven tons on top of this thing. After we are done with these deliveries, I'm wanting to do a couple of the races within the city that are available to us, which I do believe those give a little bit more money than just doing small little deliveries on unlocking places. But for the short term, we're just doing this. Just to get some side money. Oh, also, I do need to check my balance. I forgot about that again. We have 3.4 thousand, which we had 2.9. So we have made a little bit. Whenever I say a little bit, I mean a little bit because that is nowhere near enough to get to where we want to be, which is a scintilla, which I, I believe some of them actually cost maybe 100,000. But also, just a side note, there is support for modded cars. So if you do want to add modded cars into your game play 
you're able to do it and then you're able to buy it at the respective dealership. So that's pretty cool. The reason I know that is because I accidentally left all my mods on one time trying to go into a game through, or, or sorry, not a game through, playthrough of career mode and I saw my modded cars inside of it. So that was pretty cool. Urgent cargo is now available for deliveries. Received one bonus star. That's really nice, actually. So urgent cargo is this cargo here that is timed. Now we can't do this one because that is fragile cargo, which that is another level up, which I think it said you have to do 10 urgent cargos to unlock fragile cargo. And then I don't know if it's another level to do the combined ones, but fragile cargo essentially is if you don't break it, you get more money. But if you do break it, we just gotta go to Rich's Motor Company to deliver these two items, then we unlock the place. Then after that, we're gonna do some of the races, experiment with those. Just gotta preload the clutch real quick, give it a nice little warm up. All right. Got a person actually following laws over here, oh my goodness. Yellow light means we can speed up. There is no stop sign or anything there, so I actually don't know what they're doing. But here is Rich's auto company. Um, oh yes, a lot more high dollar items, okay. And the timer starts as soon as you take the cargo, so three, two, one, go, 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 go. Oh, we gotta put the destination, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh, Belasco City is the timed one. Okay, set route. All right, we gotta move, we gotta move, because this thing does not move fast. Okay, now people actually get out of the way. <laughs> because this car does not move for anybody. And I definitely checked before I turned there. Do not, not worry. Did not hit that car. I was gonna do a U-turn, but then I uh, hit the car. So we are going straight away from the car. I don't have good insurance. <laughs> that person's okay. They drove away too. It's all right. We are going so slow. All right, so we're on the move now. I'm surprised I have not messed up my alignment on these curbs right now. And these tires actually have pretty good grip for what they are. Are these race tires? No. They are not. I did not almost hit the wall either. You are imagining things come on baby let's go let's go let's go move it move it if i hop it'll get faster right Flip. we're okay we're okay our bumper's not okay I really want to do that, but we're not going to because we have self-control here. We're going to do some of these special missions. I'm just looking at what pays the most because we're in need of some money. We're at 3.8 thousand, but that is nowhere near enough still to get us to an actual good car. Again, not dissing our current car, but it's kind of a, uh, you know, <laughs> that pays good. But I really want to do this one. So I'm going to do this one and it's closer. I wonder where the top speed is without any cargo. That's what we're about to find out. Uh, daily driver insurance has given us policy forgiveness it said so if we have to repair our car i think it gives us a little bit of a bonus or whatever like it doesn't affect our claim as much so that's pretty nice so yeah as i said you do have to pay for insurance as well which did we rip it off no we didn't dang it it's just gonna be scraping the whole time that's gonna get annoying we're gonna have to repair that soon I don't think I'm gonna use the claim yet because it's only physical damage, not not internal damage, so we're okay. 
So as you can see here, it says vehicle used own or provided vehicle. So you can choose if you build, what is this, a drifting challenge? Yeah, if you build a drifting vehicle, you can use it inside of this. Um, does it let you get the money? It doesn't. So I guess it's just to get the points. Let's get some money. Oh. More control. That's what we need. Okay, we were kind of getting it there. Oh, undamaged car, it says. Okay, so we did it eventually. But as you can see now, there is another place that wasn't there available. As you do certain missions, it will unlock more missions for you to be able to do, which also is a pretty cool concept that I like. So like if you do Cathedral Hill, it'll unlock different tracks throughout the city that I have tried and are actually pretty fun. So in this episode, we managed to get this amount of dollars. I'm not going to calculate it right now, but so yeah, that's going to be it. Again, this is going to be a little bit of a series along with the other content that I'm going to be trying to put out, but let's see how fast we're able to get to these higher tier cars. I think that's going to be really interesting considering it's going to be kind of like racing the clock of when the next update is and all of our progress will be wiped <laughs> to try and have a go at it again. Hopefully it turns out well. We'll see how this goes, what we can do to slip in a little bit more money. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of getting our money up and not our funny up. Topaz out.